Today's segment of Oh Brother is sponsored by Seco Performance Centers, providing performance car parts across all of Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Visit them on the web at secoperformance.com. That's S-E-C-O performance.com. Lock me. I'm Will Lock me, coming to you from the Brandon Brown and the Country Western Delight Studios. You're listening to O oh Brother, and it's Tuesday. It is Tuesday, or as I like to call it, Tuesday. It's the second day of the second day of the week. We've talked about that. Before. It is, yeah. Uh, on, on Tuesday, Reed, we do something different every week, uh, and this one is a great one. We've done this once before. It's called Misconnections, where we go on Craigslist. Yeah. These people uh, where they've seen someone out. They want to know more about them. They want to find, you know, reconnect with them. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's in the locker room at the YMCA or something like that. But, yeah, (laughs) people, if you're not familiar with missed connections on Craigslist, boy, you just are missing out. And Um, and there's really no reason to go look at them now. You can just listen to our show. That's right. Yeah, we pick out what we do is pick out the funniest or best missed connections from Craigslist, and and we talk about them here on the show. And that's what we're going to do today, Will. So it's as simple as that. Let's just... Let's just go ahead and start reading some of our favorite ones we found recently. Right to it. Here's the first one. It's titled Balsamic Vinegar, Ziplocs, and a Green Hat. And this is male for male. It's a man, man for looking man. for a man. Yeah. And he simply says, hey, man, I just have a question for you if you see this. Now, so you got to put that together, yeah. balsamic vinegar. That's, I mean, this could, be, could this be me? I'm trying to think what I've bought have recently. You, I don't know. I've got a green hat. I own a green hat. Yeah, yeah. All right. You've, Colleen, my wife, likes balsamic vinegar, so I know I buy that. This could be about you. You might need and to respond Ziplocs, to this. Ziplocs, we've got Ziplocs in my house. My, this is to me. This might be one of the most cryptic misconnections ever. Balsamic vinegar, Ziplocs, green hat. Hey man, just have a question for you. If you see this, that's all it says. I see that, and I'm a man. This might be you, Will. This might. <laughs> yeah, be I you. respond and go, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> may I help you? <laughs> all right. Next one. It says here. Great clips on South Shades. Reed, I have to point out real quick, yeah. this is not very far from not the Brandon far. Brown and Country Western Delight Studios. That's true. That's true. Now, this could be us again. This and is you've a, got a fancy, great haircut there. Now, that's true. But now, you know I cut my hair with a Floby here at my house. Uh, so and I you have for years. How many years have you been using a Floby? Five years at least. Oh, I thought it was way longer than Five that. Five or six. Okay, the, the Floby, if you, if you don't know, is the uh, hair cutting device that you connect to your vacuum. It really is a hair cutting system. Yeah, <laughs> you, you connect you know. to your vacuum and it sucks your hair up, much like the one from Wayne's World. It's That's very right. similar. Oh, I forgot they have one though. Yeah. All right, That's sorry. Right. Great All clips. Right, here we go. Great crest. clips on South Shades. It says here, and I'm quoting. It says, "I was in there about five or so. You came in shortly after me. I believe your name is Joanna." Oh, so this is a male for a this is a man for a woman. Yeah. yeah. It says here, I thought you were really cute, but didn't get the opportunity to talk to you. And then this is the interesting part, Will. It says here, send me what you were wearing to prove it was you. Now, now notice minute, through the mail. Now it says, send me not send me a description of what you were wearing. It <laughs> send says, me what you were send wearing. me what you were wearing. I thought that was very forward of this person very who was creepy looking. Creepy of this person. Send me. I'm assuming he just means the clothes that you were wearing at the time. All right, Will. What's the next one? All right, this comes. Uh, it's, it's titled 280 Bowling Outie. Alley, excuse me, Friday the 14th. Now, Will, is there a better way for romance to start than at a bowling alley? Now, you and your wife went on your first date bowling. We, we did. Learned last first week. date uh, was at a bowling alley. Now, we didn't meet there. Uh, right, right. We met, we met at a much classier what place. Anyway, this? this is a male for a female, mm-hmm. 23 years old. Mm-hmm. He says, uh, you were blonde and had a gorgeous body. Nice. And me and you kept eye-sexing each other? <laughs> what? This is my favorite part about That's this. That's like sexting, but without is, the phone. It is like now, and and I thought when I read this one the first time, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to include this because it says eye sexing, yeah. which I've never heard of before, and it's right. pretty funny. Did but you, will did you just eye sex me? For I know, I don't, I don't okay, think good. so. Not, you just not looked at me. Not into, I did look at you, but All it right. was yeah. Now, will, but it goes on to say what? Okay, I know this is a long shot. Actually, I'm pretty stupid for doing this. Well, see, now you've just done, you just misread this because what it actually says is, and I'm oh, quoting, sorry. actually, I'm pretty stupid for doing this. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to start really reading these uh, yeah. very literally exactly he, how it's And talk about making a point. And if you, it's one thing to say <laughs> I'm pretty stupid, but if you say actually, I'm pretty stupid for doing this. <laughs> 
This is like uh, this is Tarzan has written this. Mino talks so good. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, this next one. Now I'm going to warn people. It's going to be difficult to follow this, but that's why we're including this. This is this is a good misconnection from Craigslist. It's it's titled "Hi, sweetie." Sounds and, romantic already. Oh yeah, and this is a man for a man, fifty year old. It sounds like okay. And what I'm going to do, Will, is I'm just going to read this, and anytime there's punctuation, I will say what it is. Okay. Okay, here we go. Hi, sweetie. Damn, you're cute. You brung me my breakfast to me, wed 8-12-09, to me in my silver Toyota pickup, and I said thanks, wanting to say more, but M. Gay, you work at a fast food res. Thank you, a manager. I don't know. I stop by every morn to get biscuits, and sometime you there. Wish I could get to know you. If you want, let me know if you are in Striad. If not, you're cute hugs. Deep breath. Take a deep breath. <laughs> this is the craziest Not, thing. Yeah. Wow. Well, maybe Who, somebody played that prank on them where they took out a bunch of keys. Who's my? Here's keyboard. my question. Right. Who's going to read that and of... be like, you know, I've got to learn more about this <laughs> mostly illiterate person? Mm, yes, sweetie. yes. Let's hook wow. this up. All yeah. right, next one's titled Magic Tricks at the Mall. Already sounds kind of Now, gay. Will, before you read this. Before you read this, I want to go ahead and clarify. There's one fictional character that this this posting makes me think of. I want to see if you can pick up on who it is. A fictional character. Mm-hmm. That... Here we go. Why okay. don't you read it? Uh, yeah, Joe Bluth. Is that right? Didn't even have to I read it. it. Just magic tricks at the Read it and like... see what it is. All right, so yeah. it starts out pretty gay right there, and then turns out, yes, it is a man for man yeah. in Oxford, Alabama. It is literally gay. Yeah. Okay, you were watching me do something that looked that took a little dexterity. Now, already, I wonder what that is. Creepy, in yeah. a mall, mm-hmm. okay? okay? We were in the mall in Oxford, and you came up to me about what I was doing with my hands. Ooh. <laughs> is he sure it wasn't a police officer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in the mall there. You had red hair and seemed like a very polite guy. Okay. I did something then, a bit more amazing than what I had been doing. <laughs> Not a trick, Will. It was an illusion. <laughs> an illusion, Michael. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell me what it was. That I did, so I'll know that it's really you, and uh, if and when you do respond. If you're interested in magic... And who I, isn't? No. Who's uh, not? We all are. If you're interested in magic, I can show you a few other things. Is that other magic tricks? It's, I don't think that so. Just, no. But however, oh, this boy. is purely platonic. Sure he goes it on is, to say. Sure it Not is. a sexual no. thing. Write back if you're sincerely interested, interested in, in magic. magic. Yeah. Look, magic's What's that a song? lot of fun. Do you believe in magic? Is that the, what that says? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe Moving the last on. one. Maybe the last one. We'll see. Yeah, this is a good one. Bald and delicious at Farmers Insurance. Mm-hmm. Now, when you think this of this, could be a couple of when you think of <laughs> if you think of insurance salesman, you think bald and delicious. Certainly uh, now, delicious. Reed, you've got a friend that works at Farmers Insurance. Is he bald? No, he is tall. Okay. And I don't know if and I'd say delicious? he's delicious. I don't know. I don't know what that <laughs> means really even. All right, it says here, this, this is a woman for a man in a All right, go for it. Okay. It says here, not sure who you are, but you look amazing. You are unlocking the front door of the farmer's office in Gadsden behind Chick-fil-A. I know where this is. Listen to this. Maybe your wife and son were with you, <laughs> which, once again, who does this? Who's like, hey, I'm interested in having sex with you. I know who you are because I saw you with your wife and child. Well, these next couple of sentences may describe what type of person you are. It says, says here, maybe your wife and son were with you. God, I want you. And this is my favorite sentence coming up right here. It says, all I saw was you <laughs> head, face, and arms. But you just look like you know your way around a woman. Want to see how much fun it could be? Hit me up and let's find out. Now, here's my question, Will.